quick little intro here. Welcome back. So I'm in North Carolina now. It's early afternoon on Friday. Season opens tomorrow. And I got to Phil's house and did some much needed house cleaning in the car. Pull everything out, put it back where it's supposed to be, put it back in. Look at that right there. Turkey poop. Mm -hmm. And there's Philip. He's got a boo-boo hand. So he's got to be careful how he shoots his shotgun tomorrow. Hopefully we both get to pull the trigger. But we're on some public land right now. Doing a little quick scout. Just get the lay of the land. And uh, we're actually going to be hunting on some private. But we also are thinking we want to hunt this public too. So keeping our options open. Doing a little scout. And actually when the sun's behind the clouds, it's a pretty nice day. Otherwise, that sun comes out, it gets hot quick. Nice chunk of woods, though. Oh, and we've already found some good tracks on the ground. So we got this big boy. And then Mr. I, Phil. I jumped the turkey. Jumped the turkey. A big old, big old black big bird. So that's probably the dude that left those big old tracks. So we know they're back here. And we're going to check out some other places. And uh, we'll see how this works out. Nice chunk of ground though. Real nice. Walk into where water crosses the road. And take a left and go 75 yards. There might be a couple of ducks in there. Uh-huh. You see more than one? See the water rippling in the background. They got, okay, they got two. Two flew. There was two in there. Try to sneak up on her. Oh, she's got us pegged already. Can you still see her? Yeah. There she goes. Two flew. All right, so not just seeing a hen, we got ourselves a nice dust bowl. There's a footprint. And we got ourselves another dust up area. We got a feather. Oh, and there's another one. This looks like it might have been one before the limbs got in there. But there's another one right here. With some fresh, fresh scratching up in this bottom side. here that's not that old it looks like a pretty big print too yeah so now we're on the private land poking around seeing what we see find a starting point for tomorrow turkey got a lot of turkey tracks on this one. sand yep goes right through here yep. right through here look at this going that way and yep. coming this way that's fairly fresh. I mean, it's not weeks old. See, I just, look here. I know they roost back in there. And we'll probably hear them in the morning. I would literally that's like a, to set up. That's a heck of a cypress right there. I'd literally yeah. like to set up in here. Be a hobbit home. Yeah. That joker's got to be seven feet wide. There's a whole bunch We're of tracks right here. They don't look like they turn around, so they must... What? They don't turn around and they don't continue. They must have jumped right across. Down here at turkey level. What do you see? Just down here at turkey level, it's beautiful. Man, look, you could set up look at that down log over there. That would be a great place to sit. I mean, I'm telling you, I like this place. Come start 
That's a big old footprint right there, That's son. Brought you in here. Right through here. Right through Walking here. right through here. Those are deers. Oh, there's one going that way. Look at the size of that joker. You can see the fingerprints in this one. You can see his fingerprints. You know what? You see the fingerprints? Uh-huh. That's fresh. Good morning, folks. It's opening morning here in North Carolina. Phil and I are on some private land. I don't think I showed any footage of this spot previous, but uh, it's a strip of green back here in the, kind of in the swamp on a little piece of high ground. We bumped a couple hens off of here yesterday, and this morning sounds like we've got three, maybe four gobblers somewhere in the vicinity. Phil's off at my about two o'clock maybe 2.30 at about 50 yards. Got decoys out in front of me, maybe a little too close for my comfort, but we can both see them and we're gonna call just a little bit more. Decoys are right out here, probably 20 yards. Bill's over there at about 50. There's at least three gobblers, possibly four but none seem to be very close right now. After a while, the two that are kind of in my one o'clock-ish direction, right back down this path, this little clear field, stopped talking. They got to about where the truck is and they stopped talking for a while. So after a while of silence, I hit a call and Two of them blew up about 60 yards behind Phil, and at least two of them blew up down in the swamp. So I can't see down into the swamp, so I'm looking with my eyes to the right, and I can see two heads moving from behind Phil and going around my right-hand side. If you listen closely here, you can hear them coming right down the lane on my left. They're in single digit yardage. Well, folks, we got a bird down in North Carolina. 
And that was with the bottom barrel of this Stevens. He was close, real close. Got sketchy. I wanted to watch him a while, but they seemed to want to maybe shy away from that decoy, so couldn't let that long beard get away. The one in front looked like a bigger bird, but he had a Jake type beard. Maybe he was a super Jake, or maybe he had beard rot or something. I'll give another couple minutes and get up and go over there. That last time you called before they came out, one exploded over there. He sent it. Two walked right back here, looped all the way around, and those I were the two that came in. Yeah. Well, what were they? That was the ones I shot. You mean they came from behind me? Yeah. You know what I thought about this morning? That's a beautiful woods, and I, I was thinking I'd love to be able to see that. I'm gonna tell you right now, what in the world did they do down there after you shot? Holy crap, they went off. There was a bunch of them, did you see them? I, I saw them through the bushes. They, were, they must have been four or five. They were like fighting and flapping around and... That would have been a... Okay, let's critique this. I didn't see a big beard, was it? Did it say The front one looked like a super jake, so I didn't shoot him. Yeah. The back one had a... He's got a long one. I don't think it's very thick. If, you, if I could put you on ducks the way you just put me on a turkey, man. I always put you on stuff like that. That's all right. I bring you out here. Hey, can you walk right by you? Yes, both of them. <laughs> Dude, you got it. You... When, when I saw them, I thought to myself, but see, here's what I thought. Because you didn't shoot, and I knew they came from that way, I thought they were both Jakes. They were all down now, in there. I wouldn't think about sitting up down there, but they were down there. Yeah, I could hear them come around the top here, and then they came right down. You see where my vest is? Yeah. You see where that jump? They, they walk right here. That wasn't a 20 yard shot. Uh -uh. Did you see him get spooky? That's why I shot. I was going to watch him a while, but they came up and he looked like he wanted to jump into there. That's a wet bird right there. How far away was he? He was probably about 17 yards. <laughs> I shot him with my bottom barrel because that's my close range barrel. I shot him with the bottom barrel. Dude, look at these spurs, man. They're long. Those are going to go over an inch, probably. Yep. See, I saw this hanging off of this guy. He was the one in the back. And he seemed passive compared to the other one. Uh -huh. But he got spooky. And the other one's beard was sticking out. It was like six inches long, but sticking straight out. And he got spooky, so I said, you can't leave. If I had known you were going to shoot the other one, I could have got the other one because he just, he went right. <clears throat> it happened so quick, man. I didn't have time to do nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Got different colors? Yeah, look at that. Is that normal? No. Lard tail feathers. That's pretty cool. First morning. Nice spurs. Mmm. Look at those feathers. I think feathers. we to the field, walk to the left, and go down to the creek. And... I mean, did you hear one just a few minutes ago? Yeah, he seemed like he's on the, maybe the other side of the field. Then on our way back to Phil's house, we saw a couple of birds, and we pulled over to get a good video of this one. Oh, he's got two hens. I don't believe you'd ever call him, would you? I think he might stay in the field until those hens do something else. Mm. That's a big bird, isn't it? Yep. He's out there a piece, too. Hey, what well, boy, we're seeing some turkeys today.
Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down there. And as always, thanks for watching.